Incumbent Republican Glenn Grothman is in a tough battle against Democrat Dan Cole in the 6th Congressional District. Both candidates stumped in the large district north of Milwaukee today. Pete Cervakas joins us with a look at the priorities each candidates are facing. Pete. Well, Carol, Glenn Grothman racked up 57% of the votes in the 6th District two years ago, but his challenger, Dan Cole, the nephew of former U.S. Senator Herb Cole, expects a tight race tomorrow night. Cole spent part of his day knocking on doors in Grafton. This is one village in a massive congressional district that includes all or part of 11 counties. Cole thinks health care is the number one issue to voters here and plans to make that a top priority if elected. I am fighting for the things that are that hardworking families care about to make sure that they can get health care that's quality and affordable. He believes voters across the district are frustrated with incumbent Glenn Grothman. He puts the interests of party leaders and corporations ahead of hardworking families and I think people recognize that and they are looking for a change. I think it's something he brings up because he used to be a lobbyist in Washington sending out over 99% of his contributions to the Democrat Party. I think if I bring it up, you get a lot of animation on the welfare system, which is currently broken, discouraging work. But Grothman says he's voted against GOP leadership on issues like refinancing student loan debt and government spending levels. He spoke to us by phone before knocking on doors in Appleton. Grothman says if re-elected, immigration, health care, and welfare reform are his top priorities. Health care is a problem. People wish we had replaced Obamacare. We have not done it yet. Now, almost 357,000 votes were cast in the 6th District back in 2016. Of course, voter turnout tends to trend down in midterm elections, Stephen Carroll. But cities like Oshkosh and Fond du Lac told us today that early voting numbers there were up this year compared to four years ago. So consistent with that statewide trend. That is the trend. Pete, thanks.